What's inside the box? What's inside the box? Games. Hello. How are we all doing? It's Monday morning. I, I'm going to do a packing, but I'm only going to do it briefly because I've got some other stuff that I want to go into with you. The stuff being my biggest disc cleaning job ever. I'm going to show you a picture on the screen of the order. That's not it, as you'd be amazed. That's probably close to my second biggest job ever. And there's some really good titles. I'm going to go through them. This is my biggest disc cleaning job ever. Let's get it out. Keeps on going. Keeps on going. Keeps on going. And there. Oh. Someone's ordered all these discs to be cleaned. And not through my Instagram, they've done it through my eBay listing. Um, works out about the same. They, they pay a bit more, but after fees, it works out a bit better for me, slightly. Um, just for the service. Should have con contacted me through Instagram, got a cheaper deal. Contact me through Instagram for disc cleaning. Well, let's just go through some of these discs, shall we? Let's see if we can find out some highlights. To be honest, going through here, there's not a lot of valuable games. Well, saying that, I was like, PS1, you're expecting mega money games. Like, some still these games are like seven, eight pound games. There's some games like here that I've not even heard of. Like, PS1 is such a hard, like, I've never seen that game. It just sounds like a snowboarder game, but it looks like anime, possibly. So it could be expensive. SpongeBob, some of those stuff are expensive. I know Medal of Honor is expensive, about 15 pounds. Never heard of that game, Chase the Express, which got like training gun. It's just weird type game. I know some old FIFA games are expensive. FIFA 97, I think it might be one. There's another World Cup 98, that could be another one. Croc, expensive. Never seen that game before. Midway Arcade Collection, Atari Collection, I know some of those are expensive. Never seen Cricket Captain. Buzz Lightyear, some of those are good. Toy Story 2, but I've never seen Buzz Lightyear game. Breakout, never seen that game before. Space Jam, I know that's expensive. I don't know how much. I've had sold out recently on Sega Saturn, and that's really expensive. Rascal, not sure again. Same again, some old sport titles. I saw it was 96, PGA Tour, could be expensive, could be worth nothing. And then Impact Racing, I've never seen that game before. Let me know in the comments. Are those games valuable? Yeah. There's over 100 discs need to be cleaned, and... I'm sure the person... There's lots of duplicates, so I don't know if it's for a collection, or... I know this person's come to me before, and they've explained that they've changed disc supply, disc cleaner person, because my disc cleaner's better. Points for me. Um, so, we'll put this through the disc cleaner, and it's going to take at least three lots of a full disc cleaner to clean all these, but... They paid a lot of money, they get a premium service. Let's get this tidied up, and let's show you... One. This is an Instagram, sell, um, Instagram person, um, YouTube subscriber. Lots of good games in here. We'll show you those. Look at that stack of discs. All PS1. Well, some Blu-ray in there as well. Oh no, the Blu-rays are there. Put those on top. Blu-ray. Um, I can't always fix, but I can make them work and make it look a bit better. So we'll test those. Let's go up to here. Some good st staples already. I think there's 50 odd discs in here. Yeah, Mario Kart, Wii Sports, more Mario Kart, Deadpool. It's just me getting excited about games. Mario Party 9. I saw Tom's Tack got that from a um, a Wii console the other day on a live. More Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Mario Kart eat your heart out in here, isn't it? Wii Party, more Mario Karts. This person's going to be well pleased when they got all these. Another Mario Party 9. Oh, there's some, there's some money in here. Some PS4 games, gonna have to test those to make sure they're working. Wii U games, oh. I'm sorry if you're watching. Wii U games are not easy to fix, especially if, like, even that, I don't think I'll be able to fix. I won't charge you for them if I can't fix them. But Wii U, not a good game to. Like, if you see scratches, I'd, I'd say it's not going to work 99% of the time because the way they're made. 
but we'll give it a shot. Tekken 5, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Crash Mind Over Mutant, or oh, good game that. Manhunt 2, if you find that on the PS2, is very expensive. Some more PS3 games. Oh, we're getting towards the end, I think. Oh, Manhunt 2, but it's on the Wii. Oh, on the Wii, it's not as expensive. Uh, some other games, and I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. I'm not going to mention your name. We'll get this cleaned up for you and sent back to you, because these are some beautiful games that deserve to go to the beautiful homes. I think because I'm, I've got all this to picture, all these games from last week, discs, all these I need to picture still, and I've got a picture, PS3 controllers, I've got a picture loads. What I'm going to do with picking today, there's 70 odd orders for £1,400, something like that. I'll pick them all out, and I'll meet you at the table once they're all out and go through some highlights. Let's do that. Let's go. And this is what's sold. Plus all that, but we'll get to that in a minute. These are the games that are more expensive, and they're the lower value stuff. This, that's the bread and butter. I like this stuff because it's... It pays the bills and keeps the store ticking along. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't get this. Because my store wouldn't be as active and eBay wouldn't push me up the rankings. Plus it gives a fair amount of money, that's still a decent chunk of change. But let's go, let's carry on with this. So, this is stuff that's over £10. Let's quickly go through you with what there is. It's Ghostbusters, PS2, £11. And then there's Farming Simulator, for £14. Keep an eye on those, like, I don't know why anyone would play them. It's Kieran, Kieran Barnett, Rummage Around game, that. Dragon Ball, um, it's an American version. I don't know if that as fat as the price, but that's £14. Then we've got... Sorry, I'm just looking at my screen while I'm checking prices. Just Dance 2022. Probably seen that on one of my recent videos of picking up from a cash converse or whatever. Sold for £17. Do, 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 do. Warhawk. It's a weird case. It's like a cardboard case. Maybe why it sold for more. Um, sold for £22, that. Then we've got 99 Nights 2. Got that from... I don't know where I got that from. But I've got it recently. £23. Then... Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Staple. Very good game. £22.40. We always love when we find a Crash Bandicoot. Madagascar Escape to Africa. Um, sold for £25. That's gone up in price recently. I'm surprised by that. And Family Guy. I know exactly where I got this from because somebody, Ricky Lee, made fun of saying that this game wasn't in there, but it was. Sold for £28, that. Next one along. This is a game I was talking about previously in the video. I couldn't remember the name of them. Metal Gear Solid, the substance, substance version, and I think it's Subsistence for the number three. <laughs> I don't know what's different. I'll right, tell you there. Um, includes 350 VR and 150 alternative missions, plus. Yeah. But it sells for a lot more. £33. Keep an eye out for that one. An Incredible Hulk. Sold for £12. I don't know why that was high on the list. And then these Switch FIFA games. Someone bought all three together. I think I bought them for a fiver each from a Cash Run Versus, and they sold for £35 for all three. I can't tell you. Well, I can. One minute. Easy enough. Ten pound, ten pound, fifteen pounds. All three together. Should go with a large letter. I mean, yeah. If I do that, because that should be. Oh, I'll check. And then all those, and then let's swap around for all the bigger stuff. I say bigger stuff, but there's some smaller stuff as well. Some cassettes. Um, it's hard to sell on those. Got them in a big job lot. Flash camera stuff, camera stuff, it. It's funny, um, Tom Stat was saying the other day on a live that he couldn't sell Wii Sports for Love No Money for £8 free postage when I sold six of them this weekend for six pound, um, for £9 free postage. But I think it's because you have multi-quantity listing um, with lots on it and you get sales history. All those discs as well, some good ones. Oh, there's something juicy in the middle of it. Anyone know what it is? Of course you do. Pokemon Ruby. With new battery put in it. 50 something pounds for that. Not bad. Broken 3DS. Doesn't power on, I think, it with the issue. Oh no, it powered on and it powered off and 
think it's a really bad issue um, with the caps or what. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but thirty-five pounds, even when broken. An Xbox One Elite backplate. Who would have thought? Just that. Let me find the price of it. Eighteen pounds just for the backplate of it. Yeah. And uh, what else should we show you? An expensive camera. Don't we don't like cameras on this channel anymore? We get sick of them. But they go for decent money. Um, Olympus pen. God knows. Um, sold for. This is, I think is the highest value thing for today. I think. Uh, yep, seventy-five pounds. That's all for. Well, excluding the disc cleaning order. But that's uh, that was previous. So I bought two Xbox One official power supplies for thirty-seven pounds for the two of them. We remote, not expensive. Prime Olympus lens should probably shouldn't be doing that. Fifty mil, um, sold for forty pounds. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to show you today. Switch, power supply official, £19. Yeah, let's get all this packed up. It's now 11.15, but I'm going to have a break in the middle for lunch. So I'm going to say 2 o'clock, and it's all going to be packed up. Let's go. Uh, so it's 14.14, bit over time. But I'm going to give the excuse that I was, disc um, I was editing a video that's hopefully coming out. Probably the previous video this one, which will be coming out hopefully Monday. Um, I just it's Monday today. So, uh, let's see how many orders are coming out. 79 orders. Let's see what the composition of those orders are, because I can't remember. They are... 62 large letters and 17 parcels. There's also that, an Xbox um, 360 bundle for... Fifty pounds, I think. As you can hear in the background, this thing is going, doing those desks. Let's see what some of them look like. Sorry for the noise, but thirteen out of fifty. Got all those to go. Plus these because there was a slight error with the disc cleaner with the water recycling system playing up, but it's not. It's no problem now. It's just a machine was too dirty and around the disc cleaning area. Yeah, you can see. PS1 discs, looking beautiful. That's that rascal. See so if there's any more discs that we recognise. No, nope, but all oh, beautiful. Oh, that one must have been come out from the resurfacing, um, from the water issue, and it's not actually gone through. All beautiful. So it's going to take a while because it's the highest level of cleaning um, with PS1 discs. It takes about four hours per 50 discs, and there's 108, so it's going to be straight eight hours of disc cleaning. But that is an amazing order um, for disc cleaning orders. Biggest task I've had to perform, but when you've got a machine, 108 discs isn't a lot. It's just, it just takes a bit of time. <laughs> well, it is a lot, but not in the scale of business. But I think... That's all I'm going to show you for today because, yes, I've got all this to do. But I didn't finish editing and I want to get that video out for tonight. The reason why I didn't finish editing is because one of the last clips on the video didn't, has disappeared. I don't know. It's not on my backup drive. It's not on my phone. I don't know where it's gone, so I need to redo it. Luckily, it's just a show and tell at the end. So I'll just do the show and tell again. Now, um, I'll put... For anyone who's watching, I'll put um, something in that corner mentioning it's the redone clip. So, comments in the video saying, I'm from the future. I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Um, that's all for today. Hope you have a good one. See you later. I'm not gone. Um, I just want to mention, there probably won't be a video for two weeks i might do a shorts or something in the middle going holiday on the saturday following this video i might might upload this on the saturday um yeah i'll probably do that just to make it easier uh going away for 10 days video is about the holiday might do a shorts about it because i want to do some reselling content while i'm on holiday because you can never stop and there's a certain place 
the that I like going to for games. Anyways, catch you later.